Hey guys, Jamie the Divine Seer here. How's everybody doing? Okay, I just got off of that one. It's uploading, so hopefully you guys see it. Um, like the video and subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already. You guys know the drill if you already know me, all right? So here's the deal. I do collective general reads. If you are new here, it helps me to pick up more on your energy if you subscribe to my channel, okay? It'll feel like a personal reading. However, a lot of the collective reads, reads sound like, you know, it resonates with a lot of people. So you might want to get a personal reading with me or with somebody else. Totally up to you. I'm booking up almost to the end of April. I just looked at my calendar now. I'm like, oh, well, I got something I could, I got to fix. So I still got some dates in April. Okay, anyway. Um, so if you want a personal reading with me, email me. It's in the description box. I will not come to you. Please watch out for scammers. They're really doing it right now with these scammers. Okay, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. If you want to send me a donation, I really appreciate everything that I get. Watch the Cash App because the Cash App, somebody's impersonating me on. Okay, but I do take Venmo and I do take it, PayPal. Um, I am a psychic medium. My channel, The Messages, I'm an extreme empath. I pick up a lot and like I intuitively read. So we're just going to get right into the channel messages because I was asking spirit. I was like, okay, I was like, what is coming in for the collective? I was like, let's, let's ask what's coming in for the collective. What are they bringing in? And I'm like, okay, what deck do you want me to pick? So they're like, pick the end card of this deck. Okay. The Empress. There's something you're attracting in. Okay. <sighs> you're creating something. Whoever you are. You're about to create something or you have an idea or something about creation. All right. I'm also hearing something about Mother Earth. You're very connected to Mother Earth, whoever you are. If you're resonating with this, awesome. If not, it's okay. Not everybody's going to resonate with these readings, so please don't make it fit. Use your discernment. Use your intuition. Something here, your harvest. It's your harvest time. Oh, it's your harvest time, collective. 212 on the clock. We're going to shuffle these. It is your harvest time. Something's coming in that's going to be a major, major like. I'm hearing abundance like crazy. Major abundance coming in. You're attracting a lot of abundance. You're attracting a lot of knowledge. You might be getting downloads when you sleep. Downloads during the day. Something about green and gold. Being very attracted to the green and gold, the emerald green. You could be wearing an emerald green ring or like be very attracted to the emerald green. Your your birthday could be in May. Um, you could be a Gemini. Um, is it Gemini or Taurus? <laughs> I couldn't remember what else is in May besides Gemini. All right, what are they attracting in, Spirit? Woo! What are you attracting in, Collective? Excited for you. <laughs> What are you attracting in? What is the collective attracting in? One more, please. Oh, they said no, too. Okay, okay. What is the collective attracting in? Something about your passion. Wish fulfillment and love. Holy shit. You about to get love. What else is new? Like, all of my readings are usually love connections. Man. But you're about to be so fucking happy. Remember I said harvest time? You could be drinking, celebrating. Something about wine, grapes. Remember I said abundance? Yeah, this is it. You're attracting an, an abundance of love. An abundance of whatever it is that you've asked for. Whatever it is that you asked for, it's coming. It's coming. You're going to get out of this three of swords. You don't need this anymore. Blech. Love is coming into your life. You're having an emotional, fulfilling love, okay? You could be a mermaid. You could be connected to mermaids or mermen. Um, something about the Roman times. Could be connected to that. What are you attracting in? Ooh, so, oh, Lord. Okay, they said not these. The strength card, yes, because that came out first. Okay, this could be a Leo. This could be a Taurus coming in. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Definitely Scorpio. Definitely Pisces energy with Cancer in it. Okay. I feel like there's something about your strength. There's something about who you are as a person. You stand out. 
you stand out from the crowd. And I feel like whatever you're bringing in, whatever love you're bringing into you, because you might have been putting it into yourself, you're now attracting that love to you because somebody here admires your strength, admires your courage, admires how fierce you are. I'm hearing fierce. Oh, and it dropped right in that spot. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Where's the collective? What's the collective attracting in, please, Spirit? What's coming in for the collective? Ooh, because you held your faith. Three of Cups right here. This is a celebration happening. I'm hearing you're going to be recognized for something soon. There's something you're going to be recognized for. And I don't know if it's just because of your strength. There's something else, but there's something about... Okay, so I'm hearing like Mardi Gras. Um... Because obviously the masks and stuff, but I'm feeling Mardi Gras. I'm feeling masquerade. I'm feeling like something about maybe you don't wear a mask. Maybe you're somebody who's not like, and a lot of times, like anybody that's on my channel, like I don't like fake people. So you obviously don't either because <laughs> obviously you're drawn to me for a reason. But there's something here about maybe a celebration or reconciliation with somebody if that's what you want. But there's something you're going to be celebrating for soon because I'm telling you harvest time is here. Somebody admires your strength. Admires the courage and the fierceness that you have to go after what it is that you want. You held your faith and you you prayed. You might be a prayer a prayer warrior or somebody who puts their faith into God with everything. And in, in some, you know what? I'm also hearing this person that's coming in has prayed for you. They have prayed for you. This is somebody that you're not going to expect this person. What's coming in for the collective? You're not going to expect this person at all. King of Wands. Could be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I always take the King of Wands as like a Leo, but sometimes it has Sagittarius energy. It's like, I feel Sag energy with this. But also Aries, so it doesn't matter. A fire sign. You could be attracting a fire sign in. Or you got a Pisces water sign. You could be... <coughs> <coughs> You could be somebody who's attracting in a lot of suitors, up or down. Magician, Aries, energy. This, this, whoever, this is something you've been praying for. This is something you've been manifesting. This is something you've been pulling in. This is harvest time. Because something about your faith, your determination, your ambition, you go after what it is that you want. You, you like, it's like you won't, you, you persevere. Your determination and your perseverance is bringing in exactly what you've been bringing, exactly what you've been wanting, okay? And you're also somebody who, like, loves with all your heart. You're somebody here who's very, like, your love is unconditional. It's like, you don't, whoever this person is coming into, they love you unconditionally. They, there's something about Egyptian times. I don't know why I'm hearing the Torah. Something about the Torah. There's something here about you. Somebody's been, you might have two people manifesting you. It's, or you're manifesting in many suitors. Thank you, Spirit. Tell me more about what are they manifesting? What is the collective manifesting and attracting in? Ooh, Queen of Wands in reverse. Why is Queen of Wands in reverse here? Queen of Wands in reverse is somebody who does it, who's like kind of like, they call this person the one that uses their gifts for like, not good. Let's put it that way. Why is the, tell me more on this Queen of Wands in reverse, please. I don't get this. Why is this Queen of Wands in reverse? This is, oh shit. Wow. King comes to the bottom. This Queen of Wands. There's somebody here that's a Queen of Wands that might have been do might have been trying to, okay, because the Queen of Wands is normally somebody that can, you know, is very magnetic, is very confident, <clears throat> ambitious, determined. But when there's a Queen of Wands in reverse, this is somebody who's very insecure. This is somebody who's very um, manipulative. 
Okay, Queen, Queen of Wands uses her, and I say her because the card, no gender in tarot, but they use their sexual desires. They use their, um, they use sex to get out of stuff. They're like, their sexuality, promiscuous. There's somebody here that's getting karma. This is somebody here who, too, I'm hearing that was trying to take your harvest, trying to take your abundance from you. This person is getting judgment. This person is under judgment right now. This person's going through karma. You may not have manifested this. You may not have been asking for this. You might have been praying just to kind of like have your, like your abundance and help you to get out, like, because you've been really doing your work. But now there's something about you set yourself free from someone. Now, if you are masculine energy, either way, you might have set yourself free from a queen of wands that used their sexuality to get to you. That used their, you know, or you're leaving somebody like that's insecure. Tell me more about what, what is this judgment with the Queen of Wands, please? What are they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's the emerald green again. Hi, babe. Hello. Hello. Queen of Swords. You might have cut somebody out. You might have had to cut somebody out of your life in order for this to happen. In order for you to have your harvest time, in order for you to get this person coming in, the love that you always wanted coming in, you might have had to cut that person out, up or down. The fool. <clears throat> the fool was on top of the judgment card. This is, this is going into the unknown. You took a risk. You took a risk by cutting somebody out of your life that was a queen of wands in reverse there was somebody that was trying to, I'm hearing, drain your energy or drain, drain you of your heart. Like you're supposed to be getting your harvest and your abundance and you've been praying for this. And there's somebody here you, you like literally called judgment. You prayed, you prayed it out. You asked God to take care of it and you just let it go. And you just kept persevering and everything. And somebody here is pissed. Somebody here, this queen of wands in reverse could be pissed off. They're receiving karma. Because of what they tried to do to you, the fool, you had to cut somebody out. You put up boundaries with somebody. The fool is going into the unknown. It's uncertainty. You didn't know where it was going to be. You took a risk cutting this person out of your life because you didn't know for sure. Like, like maybe you were guided to do that, but you didn't know like how this was going to go. You were kind of like, I don't know what's going to happen, but maybe you had to cut other people out of your life too. Because Queen of Swords is... Somebody that cuts people out of their life if they feel like they're being bullshitted, if they feel like they're being lied to, they only want the truth. There's somebody here, maybe this person coming in is going to risk something, wants a second chance with you, has left somebody that's like a queen of wands in reverse, take a risk with you, go into the unknown with you, and wants to come and speak their truth, but they're going to be protecting their heart. They know you have boundaries up because they know they, that's the thing they love about you is you don't pull no shit. Like you don't, you want, you know, you're going to be able to see right through this person. This fell on top of King of Wands and the Magician, Page of Coins. There's somebody here coming in that wants to give you an offer. There's going to be communication coming in. This communication coming in could be from this King of Wands. Could be from somebody that was doing magic or whatever. A master magician. This person can manifest. You can manifest. You manifested something. And now you're getting the benefits. You're getting the reaps. The, you're reaping your harvest time. That's what I keep hearing. You're reaping what you sowed. And this person, sorry, I feel like hairs on my back. And this person who was trying to take from you, this person who was trying to manipulate by using, maybe this person could have been doing sex magic, sexual magic on you, trying to take your sacral energy, like something about your creation. So I'm saying you've been, you've been creating, there's something you're creating, but somebody here was trying to stop that. But God stepped in with the judgment. God stepped in with the judgment. 
and said, no, you're not taking from the collective. Six of Swords, you're heading down a new path. Like you're moving forward. You're moving forward. Even if you hear something from somebody about what was happening, eh, it's almost like you knew. You knew already. Because again, Queen of Swords is somebody who you can't pull anything on the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords will sit there and look you in the eye and be like, okay, let me let me, let me catch you lying. Because I'm going I'm to see right through the bullshit. There's some truth coming out about this Queen of Wands in reverse. What is this truth? What is this truth? The Emperor. The Emperor. Being left out in the cold. There is an Emperor coming in or you're in your Emperor status. Right? You're, like I said, determined, persevering. You could own your own business. You could be an entrepreneur. You could be somebody starting off fresh, creating something. I'm hearing creative design, possibly. There's something here that you've been creating. You have an idea. And it's like you're in your leadership role. You're trying to take on that leadership role. But this is something, too, with this Queen of Wands, this could be, this could be a Queen of Wands in reverse keeping your emperor from coming in. And this emperor could have been with this queen of wands in reverse and realize, uh-uh, this, this person here, this king of wands is going to an emperor. That's what I'm hearing. Left out in the cold. Somebody's being left out in the cold by an emperor. No gender and tarot. Please don't get any butt hurt. But you know what? That's what I'm reading. There was a queen of wands that, that is getting left out in the cold from an emperor, by an emperor. There is somebody coming your way. Could be snowing where you're at. This emperor that's coming in could be muscular, could be younger than you. Doesn't have to be younger, could be older, but very, very um, warrior-like. There's somebody here that was trying to use their, like, again, trying to take from you collective to keep somebody from coming towards you. And it backfired. Thank you, Spirit. It backfired because God stepped in, blew the trumpet, blew the horn, and said, no, 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 no. Uh-uh. You're not going to do that to the collective. No. Somebody here was using magic or some sort of trickery. Thank you, Spirit. And I think you saw right through that collective because that's why you were like, you know what? I need to cut off people. There's somebody here that was using Maybe this person had intuitive abilities and they were using it for the wrong things and you had to cut them off. Or this emperor had to cut this person off because this emperor realized, this emperor realized that um, that could be a two. I'm hearing... Maybe they heard about you being somebody that uses your gifts for the bad, for bad, and they're realizing now, no, uh, -uh that's not true. This person lied. You're creating something. Something's being brought back into balance. Judgment's called. Judgment is called. What is being brought back into balance for the collective? Queen of Swords fell right, or King of Swords fell right on top of the Queen of Swords. You got the three of swords here. Somebody here is about to speak their truth to you. Maybe this person. Maybe this. Okay, so may, so somebody's going to tell you something about either a broken heart. Maybe this person broke your heart. Wheel. God stepped in. I'm telling you. What's coming in for the collective? What 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 is this truth? Somebody wants to speak their truth to you. This person could have blue eyes. This person could be bald. This person could have a clean shaven face. I hate to say it like this, so please don't like hate me for saying this, but they could have an ass chin. Like a little dimple in their chin. <clears throat> Cause I'm trying to figure out how to say it. Like, I don't want to offend anybody, but that's 
What is the truth this person's going to say to the collective? What is the truth? The devil. Ooh. Oh my god, where is the heart spirit? Where is the card? Where is the card? Really? Oh, okay. Where is the card? Hang on a second. I think it's underneath here. Yeah, it is. Down. Yeah. Communication's coming in. You're gonna you're gonna find out now this could be a friend. Doesn't have to be a lover. It could be a friend, it could be a family member, it could be a coworker. There's somebody here that knows something. Whatever's coming in for you, it's gonna be communicated to you. Or you already know. Something's coming in really quickly. This you know what it is? If there was somebody here that was using sex magic or anything like that, or some sort of spell to keep you from getting the emperor, the person that's supposed to come in for you, this person, it backfired. That There's communication coming in, up or down. What is this truth? They're, somebody was fucking with your dream state, possibly. You know what? This true though. I'm hearing somebody was trying to communicate. And, oh my God. I'm like, my nose is driving me nuts. Somebody was trying to communicate to you in your dreams. Somebody's been trying to fuck with your dreams. I feel like whatever was done. I said, what's coming in for the collective? The truth that's coming in is somebody's going to tell you something about their dreams. Nightmares. Losing sleep. Restlessness. Anxiety. You're going to hear... That this emperor was going through all of this shit because somebody here was doing magic on, on them. <sighs> or if you had restless sleep, if you were having trouble in your dreams, if you were having stuff like this, I feel like somebody's going to tell you what this person was doing to you. You're going to get communication. The devil, I'm telling you. Devil energy is right here. Somebody was fucking with, somebody was literally fucking with you, trying to keep you from getting your harvest, trying to keep you from getting this emperor, this empress. Oh my God. We got emperor and empress on the board. I just realized that. I know we started with the empress. We have the emperor. Somebody was trying to keep you from having your fucking divine partner coming in. Somebody was trying to use magic or use some sort of sexual Using sex to get their way to keep this person from coming towards you. But you kept the faith. You kept going. You were like, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep on moving forward. You're getting emotional fulfillment. You're getting your harvest. There's somebody here that God called judgment on. Thank you, spirit. Somebody was in devil energy. Somebody here was obsessed with you. This person could be stalking your profiles. If this is somebody that they were attached to, it, they could be watching you. If this is somebody you cut off, if this is someone you cut off, this person that you cut off could be stalking you, obsessed with you, possessive, watching you. If this person left that queen of wands in reverse in the dust, if they left them out in the cold, there's the, the person they left out in the cold is literally going fucking insane. Absolutely obsessed over you. Jealous of you. Treachery. Treachery. Something about treachery. I'm, I'm being drawn to the yellow and the orange and the red. Somebody was attacking your lower chakras or the emperor or um, like Flip and reverse it. Emperor, Empress is lower chakras. Somebody was fucking attacking your dreams. You're like, oh my God, my nose. I'm so sorry. But usually when your nose itches like this, usually spirit's like really close. Like, not that spirit's not always close, but. There is literally somebody here that has been in devil energy. This person could have a sex addiction. Somebody could come to you and tell you that this person that you wanted to be with has a sex addiction. I swear to God, somebody was using sex to get their way. Somebody was using sex to get their way. You may find that out. 
you may really find that out that somebody was having maybe multiple partners or something like that. My God, I don't want to talk about that because you're all about harvesting and abundant. You might know this though. Somebody was trying to, maybe they were sexual, there was sexual magic in your dreams or in their dreams. Ooh, spirit. I went to go put that deck down and this card flipped out underneath the wheel. Things are about to come full circle. Fortune's in your favor. There's something here about something coming full circle. It's divine timing, divine intervention. Something was fated to happen. And I feel like, I feel like the divine intervened. I feel like God intervened and said, no, we're not going to have you go through this collective. You had to cut somebody off. You had to cut somebody off in order for you to move forward. And like, I feel like by you cutting somebody off, it's bringing in this person. That's supposed to be with you because of the simple fact that there's something that you did. Maybe you broke a, you broke a spell or you broke something. You broke out of toxicity. You broke out of negativity. You had to leave somebody alone. King of Swords, Queen of Swords. There could have been a couple here that was doing this shit to you by using magic, using sexual magic to keep this emperor from coming towards you because they were fucking this, like this karmic cup. I'm telling you, I keep feeling sex addiction. This couple right here was keeping you from getting exactly what the fuck you wanted, which was someone coming in that was going to be an emperor or empress, somebody that's a master, like manifester, a lot of love, emotional fulfillment. Somebody was trying to keep you from having your fucking happiness. Divine stepped in. <sighs> tell me about... Tell me about this offer coming in. Page of coins. What is this page of coins, please? What is this page of coins, please? Coming in for the collective. Somebody was trying to stop you from getting... Thank you, spirit. Somebody was trying to stop you from getting what the fuck you deserve. And now they're fucking in turmoil. Now they're fucking having the burden put back on them. They are. Somebody was messing with your root, your sacral, and your solar plexus chakras. Your three lower chakras. The first, second, third. Look at this. Do you see this? This is the queen. This is the king. This is seven of swords. This was treachery. This was deceit. This was a karmic couple that was trying to take over, trying to do something on you. Trying to keep you sleeping so you didn't see what the fuck was going on. This couple right here, because it looks like a couple because queen and king are a couple. This couple right here was trying to like keep you asleep. Didn't want to let you know. Like there was something like they wanted, they didn't want illusions they i remember i said treachery i said what's this page of coin it fell on top of the king and queen of swords this is somebody who was sneaky deceitful this is somebody who lied cheated to get their way i'm telling you sex addiction i keep feeling that if there's not a sex addiction this is somebody who uses sex to get what they want to manifest this person ships Okay, so hold on a second. So I'll get to this three of wands in a minute in reverse. With justice. You're getting your fucking justice, Collective. You're getting your justice. Whoever was doing this shit on you, whoever was trying to make you feel crazy, insane, somebody was fucking with your dreams, this, this offer coming in is sneaky as fuck. There's something here attached to it. Somebody was asleep. Somebody was trying to keep you asleep. And somebody was asleep to what this was going, what, what was happening. Okay, look it. So now you got the three of wands. You got the emperor right here with the five of pentacles. The three of wands, their ships aren't coming in. But look, the emperor is right here. This is somebody who's been waiting for the right conditions. Guess what? There's no longer any wait. 
This means that their ships are already at the shore. This person's already coming in. Justice. Things are going to be brought right back into fucking balance. You got justice and judgment called? Oh, shit. And then you got the Ten of Wands right here? Huh. Huh. Somebody's going to be fucking burdened. Somebody's going somebody's to be burdened. Look at Because you, be, you might be, like, ascending and saying, fuck this. Like, can you give me a bottle of water, please, baby? Thank you. You're getting your justice collective. Ooh, I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> What's my way? Way kia, way kia kia. Whatever. You okay? Yeah. We're gonna watch a movie as soon as I'm done. You don't want to? Okay. You're getting your justice. You're getting justice. Uh, and your fucking, your abundance is coming. What you, what you asked for is coming. Um, on its way. That's what I'm saying. It's on its way. There's something about, I feel like, now if this is not a karmic couple, it's not going to resonate for everybody, okay? If this is not a karmic couple, if this is not some like, hmm. If this is not a karmic couple, if this is just like maybe friendships, like this could be a brother and sister. It doesn't even have to be. It could be family, okay? That was doing this. I don't want to say incest incest, because I don't feel that. But they were doing something against you. Maybe they were talking shit, saying that you were a certain way. And God said, no, you're not going to do that to my collective. That's not how they are. You cut them off. You might have had to cut a Queen of Wands in reverse off as well as a King of Swords in, like off, okay? There's something here about that. You're about to get your justice. This emperor is on their way to you because this emperor left somebody out in the cold because that person was... Because that emperor that's on their way to you, or empress, take it how it resonates, was trying to communicate with you in your dreams. There's something here about somebody who's trying to communicate with you in your dreams, or something was being told to you in your dreams about devil energy. Maybe the devil was trying to wreak havoc in your dreams as well. There was some, you freed yourself. See that cage? The cage is open. You freed yourself from this. Whatever this was, you freed yourself from this devil energy. The chains, they're not even bound to you anymore. But you may be fearful, but I'm telling you, this person, whoever this is, it's in the left side of the row, which is the Ace of Cups with the Emperor here and the Five of Coins. This part, I'm telling you, this is God balancing out the scales for you. You kept the faith. You kept going. Because your strength, your courage, your fierceness, you didn't let nobody fucking do anything to you. They could have tried to do all this spell work to you as much as they wanted, all this magic and everything else, but it didn't work on you. And I think this couple got pissed. Maybe they were trying to keep you unaware of what was going on, but there's something about you were already getting, thank you, spirit, you were already getting telepathic messages. You had people coming in your dreams telling you about this, this shit. And this devil, eight of, eight of cups, walking away, walking away and ascending, going up. You're leaving somebody behind, possibly. Like I said, you cut off some people. You had to cut off some people in order for your harvest to come in. You had to. Like, there were some really toxic people. Tell me more about this devil, please. Why is the devil here? Up or down? Palace of Wands, Hermit. Palace of Wands with the devil. This is this is passion. Somebody was using passion. I'm telling you. They were doing maybe meditating using sex magic. I'm telling you. Sex addiction, wands, passion. Somebody was trying to steal your, like, I'm telling you, steal your sacral 
or your root, sacral, and solar plexus chakras. They siphoning off of them to get what they wanted. And it fucking backfired. It fucking backfired. All it did was cause an emperor to come towards you, ignited your passion, and God stepped in. What is coming in for the collective? Three of Cups could be a reconciliation with somebody. Celebration. This is also, um, I'm hearing excitement. What else is Three of Cups? This is Cancer energy, Cancer Scorpio energy, I feel. What else is, what is Three of Cups? There's something else. Three of Cups is something else as well. This isn't third party. I don't feel like this one is third party. This is celebrate. You're going to be celebrating. There's something you're going to be celebrating. I'm hearing you're going to have the last laugh. Up or down? You're going to have the last laugh because something is going to be shown. Something is going to be known to you. There's somebody here. Maybe somebody was trying to do shit to you online. Or like if you have a platform, they were trying to like mess up your platform. Or they were trying to like mess up everything in your life, like trying to keep you from having exactly what you've been asking for, what you've been praying for. But there's something here about the world. This is a completion. This is, things are about to like, this is like closing out one cycle and starting anew. This is something new. Something new is beginning for you, collective. And I keep picking that up. Something is new. Somebody here, the seasons change, right? Something about the seasons, but also something about knowing, like, some, some might be known on the news. You might find out something. Three of Cups right here. Ace of Wands, new passion beginning. Thank you, Spirit. What is this world card here for? Whoop. Yeah, that, that's what I thought. All right. All right. All right. Ace of Swords. Yeah, this is Archangel Michael's sort of truth. You got you got clarity now. There's something about you got clarity. You gained clarity on why this was all happening. That's Archangel Michael's sort of truth. He's who cuts out all the cords. You might need to do a cord cutting or you already did. There's something here about the Knight of Wands on top of the world and on top of the Seven of Swords. I said, what is this? What is this world card, right? Knight of Wands. This is somebody maybe who was in and out of your life, player-like energy. This is somebody that wants to take action. Again, fire sign. There's something here about a fire sign, possibly. But there's... Or this person could have heavy fire in their chart. There's something here about... Somebody's coming in. That's going to be very passionate about you. This emperor. But I also feel like it could be the same person. That's this emperor that left this queen of wands in reverse. In the cold. This person might have found out that somebody was doing stuff to them as well. I'm hearing illusion work. Like illusion magic. In their sleep. And this person is now taking action. There's somebody here that is taking action now. Maybe this person sees something about you or saw you on like the internet or whatever. Whatever social media. It doesn't even matter if it's social media or not. There's somebody here that is now taking action is very passionate about you. Or your passion is about to be ignited if it hasn't already because some, because you figured it out. There's something you figured out, spirit. Or spirit. Collective. Spirit is telling you it's the truth. You figured out something. You got Ace of Pentacles fell on top of justice. This is what you're getting. You're getting wealth. You're like generational wealth. This is like, this is like happy home. This is financial stability. This is. <sighs> what else is coming in for the collective? Yep. Tree of life. Yep. Yep. Dharma. Dharma. Look at this. You got judgment on top of the ooh, you got judgment on top of the Queen of Swords. You got judgment on top of the Queen of Swords. 
And you got, wait, I'm sorry. Why did I say Queen of Wands? You got the tree of life that fell on top of the judgment. Your karma is your dharma. It's your good karma. And this one right here, this person who's been doing this, this person who's been doing that, you could have had two couples doing this. I mean, there's a lot of people that like have eyes on you, collective, whoever you are. You got the nine of wands right here. This is somebody here that's you're being guarded. You're being fucking guarded. This, they cannot, thou shall not pass. You are getting your dharma. Whoever fucked with you, they're not, they're not gonna be able to pass. This person's on the steps waiting. You're fucking being guarded. They can't meet you at the fucking gate. They can't go up those steps. You got somebody protecting your ass. You got somebody protecting your ass. Because you're about to fucking receive what you're owed. Your abundance, your generational wealth. You're about to receive something. Somebody's giving you something. The divine is giving you something. The face of coin is attached to it. Justice, tree of life. No more of this. Mm -hmm. Now, these people, ten of swords. They'll receive what they got, what they, what they dish out. Yeah, because you're an earth angel. Because you're a fucking earth angel. You're somebody who's balanced. You're somebody who's in alignment. You could be seeing rainbows. You're somebody who, look at fire and water. You're somebody here who has like been very patient, been patiently waiting. You're a fucking star. Whoever you are collective, you are a fucking star. You're about to receive. You're, you are about to receive recognition. You're about to, like, if you, I'm telling you, you have star quality. You're somebody, you're somebody tried to keep you from having what you, exact, what you wanted. Somebody kept you from, somebody was trying, <clears throat> trying to keep you from that. But you have been protected. You have been guarded. God saw everything and said, no, I call judgment. Trumpet sounded. Your justice is coming. You're a fucking star. You're in alignment. You are in alignment. This is what you're meant for. Whoever you are, you have a beautiful third eye that's open. Your crown chakra is absolutely stunning. Rainbows again. You could be seeing rainbows. You are somebody here. Star also means healing. Maybe you're a healer. But you're somebody here that your wishes are about to be granted. You're about to receive everything you asked for. Your wishes are about to be granted. High priestess. You could be a high priestess or a high priest. <sighs> they tried to take it from you, but you're, you, you have, you're. They can't take your abundance. They can't take the shit from you. They can't. Mm -mm. Especially if like, if you dealt with people in the past that would just come into your life just to like. Get what they could get out of you. Money, resources, fame, whatever it is. They're done. They can't do that to you anymore. God is in control. That's what people don't understand. God is always in control. What are you guys going to learn? Probably the ones that keep doing this shit. What are you guys going to learn? That God sees everything. Like, karma is a thing. Look, fate fell on the floor. Is there a card here again? Ah, I want to make sure I don't drop all my cards. Look at it. Faith is the card that fucking dropped. Because I was trying to put this back. Because you kept your faith. Your faith is what kept you going. You held on to your faith. You did not drop. You did not. You did not let anything take you down. You were like, no, I hold my faith in God. We're going to do some oracle cards in a minute. You are, you're a strong, strong being, whoever you are. You're fierce. And that makes you more attractive. You know, you're authentic. You're somebody that, <clears throat> you're creative. Whoever you are, you're creating a 4440 on the clock. You could be seeing zeros too. What does the collective need to know, please, spirit? What does the collective need to know, please, Spirit? 
Here's a collective need to know, okay, spirit. Can't nobody get nothing on you. Like, I'm, like, there's something about that. It's like, I feel like whoever you are, you were being warned in your dreams about something or somebody was trying to do something to you while you were sleeping in your dreams. And like, but you were being guarded and you were being told certain things. Somebody was trying to mess with you, Collective. Somebody was really trying to mess with you. And God stepped in. God let it happen up to a certain point. You kept the faith. It was all a test of faith. It was all a test of faith. Test of your faith. This was a test of your faith. You passed this test. You're, you are like, look at storm, spirit, chaos. <laughs> what people don't understand is you are the fucking storm. You are the storm. Fire spirit, energy, fire energy. You could be the fire sign. You could have a lot of fire in your chart. There's something about your hands. Look at that lightning in the background. You could work with fire. You're somebody here that like your energy, is, your energy can just fucking shake up a room. Like you are the fucking storm. Especially if somebody messes with you, God gives you that power. You don't, I don't feel like you make chaos. It's more or less like you trigger people. If somebody didn't want you having everything you asked for, but your energy I'm hearing is priceless. Nobody can duplicate your energy. So whoever tries to duplicate your energy, chaos is coming down on them. There's a storm. Oh shit. Is that Zeus? Fuck yeah, it is. You could be 42 years old. There's Zeus right there with that thunderbolt. Go ahead, mess with my get mess with them. Mess with the ones that, that are like mess with the ones that are doing the right thing. Like, go ahead. I'll give you some of that. What's the collection need to know? Yeah. There's, I'm hearing, there's going to be chaos and like hellfire rain down on these people that tried to do this to you. You didn't ask for that. That's not what you wanted. You sat there and you just kept to yourself. You gave it to God and let it go. I'm telling you right now, best thing you can do is pray it away and ask God to take care of it. Don't try to send it. I don't do return to sender for a reason. Why be stuck in a fucking loop? To me, it's just, you're, you're, st you're staying in a loop. I don't like to do return to sender. I don't. I just don't feel that. I feel better when I give it to God. Unicorn purity. You could be seeing unicorns or rainbows or butterflies, dragonflies, sparkles. Purity. You have a pure spirit. And that is why you're getting everything you've asked for is because your heart is pure. Because your intentions are pure. You don't walk into people's life trying to cause chaos. Okay, do I say you are the storm? Fuck yeah, I am. I am saying that because you know why? Because people don't realize that when they fuck with you, it's almost like their karma hits them instantly. You're everybody's walking karma. You come in, you trigger them. It's just something you're here for. It's part of your part of your gifts, part of your abilities. But you have a pure heart, and you don't do anything the wrong. You're not in the wrong. Like, if you feel like you're in the wrong, you'll take accountability for it and you'll sit there and pray about it, you know? Or you, you sit there and you talk to your team or something like that. You're gener generous. Generosity. Maple spirit. You have a beautiful generosity about you. All right, let's see. What else? What else does the collective need to know? There's something. You could be 45 years old. Don't have to be. Yup, you're going through a fucking transformation. Hell yeah. You've healed from something or are healing from something. Butterfly spirit. What I say? Butterflies. Butterfly spirit. And you're the pearl. You're the fucking pearl. Number eight might mean something. Number four might mean something. You could be 48. You could be 84 watching me. I don't know. 
You can be a life path eight, life path four, life path six, life path nine. Doesn't have to be. Some April 8th. I just heard April 8th, solar eclipse. You're going through a major fucking transformation right now. And you're healing from something, bare spirit. You're like, you're like a teddy bear underneath, but that bear, like you're being protected. You're being heavily protected. Somebody's protecting you with like bare spirit. Somebody's protecting you. It could be snowing where you are. Or it could be like fall. I'm seeing fall and winter. Something happened between the fall and the winter of last year. Depending on where you are. Something is either happening in fall and winter, depending on what hemisphere you're on, or something happened in the fall and the winter. Because I'm seeing leaves changing color here and then snow. But also, like, I'm seeing April 8th, something, I'm telling you, bear spirit. There's a bear spirit animal that is protecting you, that is helping you to heal. You know, you're like that mama bear, that papa bear. Like, don't mess with my young, don't mess with my cubs, don't mess with my babies. You are being protected by somebody that's like a mama bear or papa bear up in the ethers, 51 to 11 when I was on the clock. Somebody's helping you. Somebody's helping you with this transformation. There's that energy again. They're giving you the power to transform, to bring bring what you need to bring down to like from 5D to 3D. Anything else for the collective, please? Anything else the collective needs to know? Please, Spirit. You're healing from something. You're healing from, maybe maybe you're healing from chaos. You're supposed to heal chaos from your bloodline. Again, with the generosity, stability, joy. What, like this transformation is going to make you so stable. It's going to help your stability and it's going to bring joy. Hummingbird spirit, I just talked about ancestors. Papa bear, mama bear, right? Hummingbird is the ancestors. Your loved ones. Number 22 are bringing balance back into your life. Your loved ones are bringing joy into your life. After like once you, because you might have healed from something already. Stability. They're bringing, you know what? You're going to be in joy because your stability is coming. Look at those two swans at the bottom. You could, you could be in the fairy realm. Earth spirit. You could be in earth. Earth angel, you could be um, earth sign. Butterflies again. Transformation. This whole thing is about transformation. Some, you know what it is? I feel like, number 14, um, I feel like somebody saw you transforming and didn't like it. So they wanted to take away what they thought they can have that was yours. Good luck with that. I'm hearing the name Charlie. I don't know why I'm hearing Charlie. I'm also hearing Sandra. I'm actually hearing Sandra D, like from Greece. Sandra D, Sandy D. I think that I think that was her name. What else for the collector? What's coming in for the collector, please? What's coming in for the collector? You're gonna be so happy. You're gonna be in so much fucking joy. Your ancestors have had this like. They, they gave you the torch. They're giving you the torch. Oh, there's something about your legacy. Why aren't these? Thank you. I was going to say, why aren't these going? Success. Secret spring. We're in spring right now. Something's happening now. You're the light. You're the lantern. 34. You're having success. You're going to be so happy. I love spirits so much. And I was thinking of Mer Merlin today. I was totally like, I thought a sign said Merlin today and I was going to bring him up, but dragon power. You're being fucking protected. I'm telling you power. Your power is immense. Remember when I said your ancestors gave you the power, pass down their power to you. Okay. So I was watching a movie yesterday, the covenant. It's an old movie, right? And I don't know if anybody's seen it. If you have not seen it, I mean, it's kind of morbid, but whatever. 
But in the end, I think it's like the grandfather dies and passes down the power to his grandson. And then that grandson was able to defeat like somebody that was demonic. There's something about you have this power within you. You are a light for a lot of people and your power is so immense. And I feel like a lot of people envy that and a lot of people are pissed off at you because of your transformation. Maybe because you're going through this healing and once you healed what you had to heal or you're going or you're still doing it, as you're healing, you're transforming into a brighter light, a bigger light and being more of yourself. And, and because you're still having pure heart, like you're, you're still pure. You're not letting, you're not letting anybody make you kind of go off the rails a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You're not letting anybody sit there and, and look at you and like make you, it's kind of like you're unfazed. You're just like, whatever. Like that's, it's like you've matured a lot more. You have a lot of power, whoever you are. Dragons can mean something. Unicorns, bears, fairies, hummingbirds. You could be very connected to the mythical beings and to the earth, like really, really close to, um, you're a very, very magical being, whoever the fuck you are, because unicorns are magical. And I love dragons. Like, you're protected. You got dragons, you got bears. <laughs> like, you're protected. Wizard of the Woods, focus. So this came out together, number 11, number 50. Okay, you could be 50 years old. You could be a wizard. They're telling you to focus. Focus your power into, like, focus whatever you went through into your power. That's what makes you strong. That's what makes you stand out. They're telling you to focus more on your success. Don't worry about the bullshit. They'll get you through it. I'm going to put this over here. You can be 34, like I said. Yes. Pegasus transcending. Fucking A. You can be 28. You're transcending. You're making things happen that people never even fucking thought would happen. You're transcending. You're bringing whatever you're manifesting from the 5D or other realms to this realm. And people are looking at you like, what the fuck? How do you do that? It's because you have some power in you from, it could even be Zeus, right? The Greek gods, the Roman gods, the Romans, like you, you could be connected to, you could be connected to a lot of like immortal beings. You're like an immortal being. Spirit Garden of Summer expansion. Anything else they need to know, please, Spirit? Anything else they need to know, please, Spirit? I think you already know who the fuck you are. And you are so strong. Whoever you are, you are so fucking strong. <sighs> Reflecting pool stillness. 33. Listen. Focus on your success right now. Focus on your power. Focus on what you can do and stay pure. Pure intentions. But stay in the present. Stillness. Just because you may feel like you're not going anywhere right now or you feel kind of stagnant, don't mean shit. I'm telling you, you're about to go up. Oh. Flexibility, Willow Spirit. Your name could be Willow. You could be, have a willow tree. 48, you could be 48 years old. Something about you need to be flexible because sometimes things are going to happen and they're out of your control, obviously. But it's like you might have to change something at the last minute or whatever. But as long as you keep your focus on what's important, that's all that matters. I told you you're going to be happy. I fucking told you. Some bubbers. Foggy bog patience. 18. You've been very patient. And you have to stay patient. Just stay patient. Like I said, stillness. Stay patient. What are they saying under me? Transmutation. Yep, you're transmuting. Happiness. Bluebird spirit. Happiness. You're about to, I told you, you're about to be happy. Your patience is, is, is paying off. Whoever you are, your faith, your patience is paying off. You are somebody here. 
that holds a lot of power, immense, immense power. And your focus right now should be on your success and your goals and your dreams, not worrying about anything else. Okay, stay pure with intentions. There might be a, a tower moment coming into your life because I feel that with the storm spirit too. There might be a tower moment coming into your life, but it's here to help you to heal whatever needs to be healed. It's also here to help you transform because remember, you are the storm. You are the fucking storm. You are the storm. You are this fucking storm. Okay, this is all I'm doing because I want to get off of here. Again, with generosity, whatever you've been putting out and being generous of yourself, it's coming back to you. Color red, purple, and pink are really standing out to me. Oh, my baby. I love me some wolves. Listen, you got the beast spirit prosperity. Oh, okay. There's a little jar on top of the bee. I thought it was a ring. That's weird. Look like a ring. You got prosperity, patience, happiness, stability, joy, success. Look at everything that's coming towards you. Long as you believe that it can happen and you hold on to your faith, it will happen. You were hidden in plain sight. You were somebody who was hidden in plain sight. People underestimate you. That's the thing. Just because you have pure intentions and just because you're nice and you're generous and everything else, they don't understand the power that you hold. And I don't feel like a lot of you know the power that you hold. You're a powerful being. So you can only take so much though. And that's what I'm saying. You had to cut people off. And once you cut people off, all of this is coming. It's on its way to you. This is fucking amazing. Like, wolf family. I'm sorry, wolf spirit family. You could have cut people out of your family in order to get what you get. Or your family passed down your the power that they had to you because you're breaking generational curses. Because you are here to fucking break the chains of society and break the chains of what your family had told you in the past from what your friends think of you. Loyalty. Wolf pack. Listen, wolves are all about alpha, like an alpha. Okay, they have to have an alpha and all this other stuff. But I love wolves so much. Wolves are like loyal to their pack. Like really loyal. And like they're all about family. And like keeping everybody together. And like... You have now, you have a wolf spirit coming in and bees. If you're seeing bees, that's abundance. That's prosperity. Wolves are protection. You're being protected. You have heavy hitting protection. Yeah, because you know why? Because you're stepping into your leadership. You're stepping into who you're supposed to be. Stag spirit. Now you have a stag, dear. 39. Weird. Leadership. Person coming into my freaking. Who is this person? No idea. This person's driving in my driveway with a Chevy Silverado. Whatever. I don't know who it is. Stag Spirit Leadership. You are a leader in your own right. You're stepping into your leadership role, and your 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 soul family is coming. The people that are in your life now. Um. I feel like they're here to stay. Yeah, Aspen Spirit Courage. There's something about you, Collective. You're, you're meant to break barriers. That's why I just heard. You're meant to break barriers and break down walls. You're meant to raise up, like, the Collective and raise up the consciousness. You are here to do a job. And your job is going to, if you're not doing it already, your job is going to be about... Showing people like, hey, this can be done. Like, it's not impossible. This was the test of your faith. You are literally like, you're a silent storm. That's what I just heard. You're a silent storm. You silently come. 
And then when it opens up, when the, when it hits, like you had to do what's best for you. And since you did that, because you were guided to, and that's the thing, people don't realize, like when we have guides, right? If our guides tell us to do something or God tells us to do something and we don't do it, it gets louder and louder and louder. And if we feel like a lot of times for me, if I cut somebody off, like completely, it's because I was told to. It's because my guides were screaming at me. You got to get away. Go. Do, like, that's it. And that's what I do. I go with my guidance all the time. I go with my intuition all the time. You know? And yes, if you're getting that, make sure that you're asking, is this, are we sure this is my guides? How do I know? Da, 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 da. Talk. Pray about it. Because, you know, people are tricky. <laughs> something renewing in your life frog spirit renewal the frog with the crown on you should see me in a crown okay listen you know how they say like you have to kiss so many so many frogs to get to the person there's something here number 20 39 51 5 7 13, I mean 18, not 13. There's something here about, something is about to be renewed in your life. I'm hearing renewed happiness is coming into your life, whatever this is. Your birthday could be July 18th or July 20th, something about July. July or May. May. Or between May and July, there's something coming with this solar eclipse. I'm telling you right now, something's about to be renewed back in your life. You're you're about to, I'm hearing regain your focus back into what you're meant to do. And your success is bringing in exactly what is needed. Your, um, your creations are about to become a reality, whoever you are. I'm so happy for you. This is fucking amazing. This is amazing. And listen, if you transform and people want the old you and you're the new you and it's like you're not like that person anymore and they're kind of like, oh, you know, this person acts like they're too good for me or whatever like that. And look, at they transformed into thinking that they're better. Da -da -da. Listen, it has nothing to do with competition energy or thinking you're better than anybody or anything like that. It's the fact that it's like they want you to go back to where you were when you were in lower vibration and where you were when you were literally like insecure and not confident and not successful so that they can take that over you. I don't care if anybody's jealous, envious. I don't give a fuck. I keep hearing all the time. There's so many fucking people jealous of you right now. It is what it is. I don't want anybody jealous of me, but I can't stop it. It's not like I'm sitting here going, oh, be jealous of me. No. Mm -mm. We all have our own unique gifts. We all have our own abilities. You know? The thing is, like, you shouldn't be jealous of anybody. And if you got a jealous tick in you, like, you need to heal that. <laughs> like, seriously, you need to heal that. Because, like, we are all one. We're all trying to, like, our, our goal is what? Well, not everybody's goal is peace, okay? But our goal is just to literally live a happy, harmonious life. We're supposed to live out life being in joy, peace, and calm. You're going from having chaos in your life to having joy and happiness and prosperity in your life and success. You ain't going to have to worry about shit. You never had to worry about anything anyways. Because your faith, your faith was what kept you going. You just, this was a test. This was a test of your faith. And because you stayed true to who you are, and you did whatever you were asked of you, you're getting justice and you're getting everything you asked for. Period. Anything you ask for, your guides, your team, spirit, God, here you go. Here you go. 
It may not come in that moment. It may not come the way you want it. It may come better. What if it comes out better than expected rather than what if it comes out shitty? Yeah, change that perspective. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you guys. All right, listen, I'm going to go because I want to spend time with my kid. My kid is sick. I'm going to spend some time with him. Um, like the video on your way out. Subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed to my channel already, if you like my energy and like how I read. Um, if you're compelled to come to me for a personal reading, I have some dates left in April. I have to look at my calendar. I'm trying to, I don't want to like just constantly do readings all the time, guys, because I need time to recoup. Because um, my mom told me the other day, she was like, yeah, I was reading up on like what you do. And she said, it's, they say it drains your energy and like, it's a lot to handle. I'm like, yeah. She's like, yeah, I understand what you meant now. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Anyways, okay, with that being said, anybody who wants a personal reading with me, you can email me. Okay, some people have been saying they've been trying to email me and they can't. Um, I'm on Facebook. You can check out my Facebook. I, um, I hardly go on Facebook, but send it through Messenger. All right, because honestly, that's the only thing I really look on. I don't, I'm not. Listen, I ain't trying to be all over the place with my fucking energy. <laughs> I, got, I got work to do. I got a job to do. Um, see, he's already coughing. Anybody who wants to send me a donation, I'm so grateful for all of it. For everybody. Everybody here. Everyone. Thank you. It would not be for you. Like, I swear to God, I would not be here if it was not for you. So thank you for everybody coming to me for readings. Thank you for everybody donating to me. Thank you for just, you guys are amazing. But I don't monetize on this channel for a reason. So... My Venmo, my Cash App, and my PayPal is where you can donate. And my Cash App, please watch the spelling. Go in the description box. Watch the spelling because somebody's impersonating me on Cash App. Yeah. It is what it is. Can't duplicate energy like that. But it is what it is. All right. I love you guys. Um, you guys have a great night. I'm happy for you. <laughs> like, yes, collective. Finally. All right. Have a good day.